Hello, everybody. Skin school slash scalp school. Um, we haven't done a skin school for so long. I'm really sorry, but the time just ran away. So let's get right into it because scalp school is, I think, very, very much of interest for so many people because scalp gets totally overlooked in our daily routine. And we want to bring like science and skincare to our scalp. And that's why we created the most amazing formulation. I'm literally so obsessed with it. You know, I never took so much, you know, care about, you know, which shampoo I was using. I was just using whatever was around. But obviously that's not a good thing to do. So um, I'm really, really excited to be launching this line and I'm really excited for it to be so outstanding, different, scientific, helpful. We did clinical studies already, which showed unbelievable results. So I think the space was really looking for um, working performance um, focused line. So here we are. And uh, my guest today is um, a wonderful human being. I um, was very, very happy to meet lately. And of course, in our discussions around this line, because um, we always like to talk to experts. Bridget Hill is a trichologist and total expert when it comes to hair and scalp. Welcome, Bridget. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Congratulations on your launch, a beautiful, beautiful launch. Uh, can we talk about your skin for a moment? Because that's <laughs> what? Wow. No, I'm so amazing. Well, I have to say, you know, after aligning with your beautiful, first of all, just getting my hands and the gift that you all have um, presented to me, I was able, my skin has been all over the place since really going into my 40s. So I'm very like slowly introduce things. So like I started, like I ran out of the vitamin C, right? So I immediately got into your vitamin C, but now I'm a probably about three weeks in completely on the line and I'm really on the darker tone. So I don't know the difference cause I'm just being introduced, but you gifted me the darker skin tone. And is it the extra vitamin C that I'm seeing the difference with things maybe? I think it's, it's you know, going, going, fully into the line, you know, not mixing it with other products because lots of other products can defeat what we are trying to achieve with um, the Sturm approach. So I think going all in Sturm uh, practically will definitely have made a difference. Okay, well, it's a game changer. I'm, I'm, and I was so leery because I've had so many, I was such a beauty, you know, skincare, just junkie. And I know so we I'm talked so about it. <laughs> I know we talked about it here. Oh, I have this and this and this. Yes. And I'm like, okay, let us do. I'm actually impressed that you went solely on Sturm. <laughs> no, thank you. No, it's because after the scalp, you know, I had to, after experimenting, I was like, okay, let me just really get a full experience on that first layer of scalp, which is skin on my complete body experience with you. And I'm enjoying it. And so here we are. Thank you. <laughs> so good skin, good scalp, because skin obviously doesn't stop right here. Just because there are lots of hair from the color our hair grows, um, we don't see it necessarily, but there's skin too. So do you want to start talking a little bit about scalp and um, what you know, what you learned, what, what you think is important for us all to know? Yeah, of course. So I think for me with the Storm brand, even before testing the product, it's just the understanding of science, which I think is so important for scalp because scalp is like this new frontier of beauty, right? It's something that's never addressed. It's a complicated organ because science really just hasn't done the research or the understanding because it houses the one fiber, the one thing that we obsess over as women, our hair, but really we don't need our hair to survive, right? Our hair is not gonna contribute to our liver function or our heart function or our lung function. So there's this kind of, but at the same time, our hair is such a personal, it literally can dictate how we feel about ourselves when we feel beautiful, when we feel strong, when we feel secure. So I beg to differ on how science relates to what's important, but neither the less the body does not require hair to function. So scalp has been ignored. And something that you touch on is just the reality of it's a cellular structure and skin is just that first level of this cellular structure. And with this whole skinification of all of a sudden we're talking about scalp and you have skincare experts such as yourself coming to this hair market. Yeah, it makes a difference. The skin is that first vital part of the scalp function that's going to house the quality of the hair that's produced. 
So I'm excited to be able to ex experience this conversation with you as someone as understanding anti-inflammatory, cellular turnover. Our scalp needs those same types of thought style and those same types of actives as our skin does on our face. So there we are bringing ingredient <laughs> sites to, to the scalp and most importantly also not all the bad stuff you know shampoo and conditioners are designed to perform and bring you know some action to the hair as well so performance matters to us obviously and um we combined now the ingredient science with the performance and leaving out everything bad from silicones and sulfates and microplastic and silicone i said that already but fragrances i mean like there's a whole list of things which are not in these shampoos, which I find super important. And here I want to give a big shout out to the um, Stern product development team, just because, you know, they, they never said it for not the best. So um, they tried actually three different producers and the first two producers, they couldn't get it done. We've been actually trying to have um, shampoo since three years. So we've been trying different producers and, um, they all failed really, and the last one got it done. So we are very, very um, impressed with our own work because um, it's very tough to make a clean product, which is aiming for performance, which has ingredient science. So that's really new, um, new generation hair care, really. No, and you are on the pie. You are by far the pioneer, and I'm going to be honest. Look again, no shade, no foul. That's like a lingo term that I use. I'm just going to be direct. I don't really, I don't, I'm not a shampoo girl because I'm a black girl with frizzy curly hair, right? So shampoos are not my friends in the, in the traditional formulation. And that's the thing that when I speak about, sometimes when I'm talking and I'm being honest, I'm speaking about what is accessible, right? To me in the typical shampoo world, that's not a friend for me. So what excited me about truly coming in blind and experiencing the thought style of I've always been a connection between skincare and the way we cleanse our hair fiber and our scalp should mimic more of a, a skin care perspective, right? Versus a body care perspective. And I think so much of how we address with hair is like how we shampoo or cleanse our bodies and the hairs on our bodies where the hair on our scalps, it's fabric. It's not the same thing. So to see you can tell the difference. And for me to make people recognize the importance of cleansing the scalp with a product that is, I say, respectful to the microbiome. It's not about disturbing, it's respectful because each of us have such a unique foundation of what our bodies are going through, through stressors, medications, or hormones. So the fact that maybe you're putting- should, Maybe you should explain microbiome. That is- because Ah, okay, yes. Yeah, I'll approach it from like the scalp side of things. Basically on our bodies, there is a, a, a beautiful existing, these intelligent bodies are filled with fungi and bacteria and all these great organisms that exist to keep our bodies balanced and our, 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 our systems balanced. A lot of the things that we do in relation to hair and scalp, thinking about how often you put a flat iron or you put a hairspray or you color your hair, all of those things externally are gonna impact that microbiome. But then think again, when you have an extra glass of wine at night or you ate like French fries and then your body's all over the place or you're like stressed, that's an internal impact of scalp. So when we're talking about the microbiome of the scalp, we're talking about what's happening internally as well as the things that we're doing externally and mechanically to disrupt that beautiful living of organisms and fungus. And so, what Barbara has done in the Stern brand is it because that is all about their science of cellular understanding and anti-inflammatory, they're recognizing that there has to exist a healthy balance of your specific microbiome. And with these formulations, it allows us to kind of figure out what some of those issues may be if you're skip, itchy or flaky, but you know you have a product that is already solving that case for you where you don't have to think overthink it. I totally agree. So respecting microbiomes, respecting skin barrier, respecting our cells, you know, obviously, you know, we are all kind of, you know, tricky with our scalp because we go into the sun, there's no sunscreen on there, you know, there's, there's pollution, there's heat from the blow dryer, there's the iron, there is like, you know, chemical hair dye, there's like shampoo conditioners, which are not so great, hairspray, 
all kinds of sprays. I mean, like dry shampoo, it's so much inflammation causing ingredients and products. So first of all, it's tough to get your hair super clean. Yeah, and this is one thing I want to talk about. But let's go by, um, you know, from concern to concern because I know everybody has like a bunch of questions about concerns. So my first concern would be itchy, flaky scalp. Yeah, um, redness, irritation, you know, like dryness. Um, I, I know I shouldn't say dandruff, but it's, you know, dandruff is one um, big part. Bridget can say dandruff, right? So, um, <laughs> So that is one big, big, big concern, you know, dryness. And this is just the state of our scalp. It has not even to do, you know, with the hair. You know, the state of our scalp, you know, really deserves a certain way of taking care of it. And we created this balancing collection. It's a balancing hair serum and a balancing shampoo to really help to bring down itchiness, redness, um, flakiness. And um, that is... Um, you know, we did like this clinical studies, which actually 96% um, say that it got rid of um, those problems. So maybe you want to say something to that concern. Yes. Yeah, so let's talk about this idea when you say, just say like problematic scalp, right? Whether you're on the over intensified, which is the burning, irritating, or you're congested and you feel like you have buildup or you quote unquote have dandruff. So just to kind of break this myth, you, if you're having some type of production on the scalp, it's no longer like a, a, a cosmetic issue, right? There are times where you genuinely could have some medical concerns going on there. So when we're speaking about the balance line, we're talking about this very just, oh, the seasons change, or you see a little dry flake, or you see your hair is overly oily when you shampoo that frequent, you always feel like you have to cleanse, 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 cleanse. And when you're using a, a shampoo or a cleanser, that's not properly formulated, just the fact of you trying to solve is creating more irritation. It's creating a disruption. Again, this magic word we talk about, the microbiome. So balance is gonna be that scenario which just allows the scalp just to be. Yes, you have to remove those oxidative stress impactors, the environmental factors, our product factors. And again, when we're going through just our lives and our diets, uh, you know, stressors, there's still gonna be a production of oils that need to be still removed from the scalp to continue cellular turnover. So the balancing for me is I approach it, if you lie in just this realm of occasionally, which we all do feel itchy, um, you don't really have any medical scalp concerns. So I'm not saying anyone that has like an eczema or psoriasis, we're specifically speaking about those flare-ups those moments of flare-ups, that balancing in the shampoo and the cleansing, as well as maintaining and neutralizing, being preventative, which is what I love about the balance. It's all about just keeping your natural, unique regulation of your microbiome. It's not going to overinflate and it's not going to underinflate. It's going to soothe the things that need to be soothed, as well as enhance the things that need to be reactivated a little bit. And I think with the balance serum, as we go through the other lines, Barbara, the beauty of working with a brand that comes from a skincare science is the ability to layer and the ability to address one portion of the scalp that may be dry and flaky and another portion of the scalp may be dealing with dryness. So as we move through, that's what excites me about working with the Storm brand is the ability to approach it the same way you would as you layer your serums and your, your skincare products and your other ranges. So that is, yeah, the balancing, um, and you just talked about um, dermatitis, psoriasis, you know, eczema. Um, I would also recommend the balancing selection just to really, because it's mild, it's balancing. So that would be the, the, the line of choice here as well. The same like for children or teenagers, that it was, would be the line for someone who also doesn't have any concern, you know, because it's just like, respecting your microbiome, nourishing your skin, your scalp, you know, I think that is a really good choice for everyone, you know, with no real condition, but just to, to maintain good health in your scalp. Would you agree on this? Yes, I say, I call that your, when you say balancing, it's almost like stabilizing. It's yeah. almost like stabilizing and nourishing. It's so, and people get so offended by preventative, but I think you want to nourish the more you can nourish, you know, it's, I would approach it that way. Everyone's scalp needs to be nourished. 
you know, and we all benefit from that, whatever. It's good food for your scalp. Yeah, it's food. like, it's a good, it's, I love that. It's food for the scalp, food for that ground <laughs> chop. Exactly. So that is, that is great. Let's talk about another concern, aging, dry, damaged, colored, or chemically treated hair. So that would all apply to the super anti-aging collection. So aging, dryness, damaged, colored, or chemically treated hair. So everything where you think you need some, you know, extra support with aging skin, this can also be gray hair. This can be, um, you know, this can be, yeah, spliss in the ends of your hair. All those where it needs like some extra anti-aging power would go for the anti-aging collection, the anti-aging shampoo and the anti-aging hair serum. What would you say um, regarding that concern? So I'm gonna give you like, this is when we go into the salon, right? And we break all the rules. Yes, it was formulated for anti-aging, but you know, as a hair colorist, I found such a great result on using this product on people that have any type of chemically treated hair, because the reality is, Anything that you process or anything that you're using, curling irons, flat irons, you know, you are creating oxidative stress. So yes, it's a brilliant that you were formulated this with a woman like me in mind, but really anything that you're doing to the hair mechanically that is going to open up and reveal some of those ex kind of break down that what we call the cuticle layer. Um, this is the line because you're, again, always about the cleansing. And that's what excites me. People don't take the time to recognize the importance of what you're using to cleanse the base of the hair. And when you're not stripping and someone has a formulation that is replenishing, like I said, the glycerin excited me about this product. There's so much glycerin in your line, which is to me, it's so hard to find it's quality. Yeah, it was my grandma's, my grandmother's idea. She was a pharmacist. She said, John, you need a lot of glycerin in your skin. I love yeah. it. Yay, grandma. Uh -huh. we, well, yeah. Because like glycerin to me is a foundational block that I really do look for in products, but it's hard to find quality, right? Quality glycerin out here. So for me, when I think about the anti-aging line, the fact that it is so rich in these lipids and humectants and you can see the impact that when you're cleansing, this is, you're not overly stripping or removing. So any additional auxiliary aspects that you put into the hair, you're just going to benefit because what you're doing is giving us the opportunity to find that balance by not stripping the moisture out, which is what happens as we age, right? The collagen depletion from our skin, same thing on the scalp. So one of the pushbacks I always give about hair is we always think about the hair once it comes out of the scalp, but you have to remember before that hair fiber protrudes through the hair follicle, it's being formed. So there is a hair fiber that exists below the scalp and the hair fiber. So we should start making those connections. And that's why actives and serums are so important because before you visibly see the hair, the quality of the product and your lifestyle and the foods that you eat, you're still tr treating your hair even though you don't visually see it. So that's another benefit to a product line um, those moisturizing lipids that are in the anti-aging collection are going to be beneficial. Anytime those moments you've been in the sun, you've been on vacation, give yourself an extra yeah. bit of fatty acids. It's beneficial. That's that's a good point. Yeah. So any type of stress, if it's just the sun, yeah, vacation, lots of salt water. But what's also interesting, you know, if you have, you know, all this like breakage in your hair, but you have very fine line, the super anti-aging shampoo could be a little bit too much for you. So for thick hair and any type of hair, it's 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 amazing. But if you feel like you wash your hair with your super anti-aging shampoo and it's maybe too much, then you can just use the super anti-aging hair serum and maybe use the balancing shampoo. So you can also switch it up, you know, depending on what's um what's great for your hair. Yeah. You made such so, a great point, Barbara, on that really quickly, because I think a lot of women shy away because we think about how we want our hair to perform, right? So I'm gonna, we think about, oh, it's gonna make it flat or it's gonna make it greasy and it's not gonna make it volume. When we're talking about scalp and hair care, I would like for women to position it more like a treatment. So maybe you consider using, you still need those lipids and proteins and maybe you consider using a rich shampoo when you know you're gonna wear your hair back 
are you going to slick it back? Give your scalp and hair those ingredients, even though it may not give you the performance of the hair fiber, your scalp and hair still need these ingredients. So let's kind of separate and not always make a connection between how our hair fiber, like I love the fantasy of hair, right? And a great blowout and volume and lift and bounce. But sometimes as a trichologist, you need to be the more sleek back, sleek, give your give your body and your scalp and your hair that rest because it still needs those lipids and proteins, even if your hair may not like it from a performing point of view. I think that's an important differentiator that we need to start discussing. Cool, I totally agree. And to another concern, hair fall. And hair fall is something, you know, lots of women experience, lots of men experience by going through hormonal changes or stress or inflammation or diet or whatever it is. Um, you probably have um, also a very, very strong idea about hair fall, but we created a line um, anti-hair fall a shampoo and a hair serum as well. What do you think about those? So I was interested, of course, I remember when I was speaking with your team, I'm always in the fact that you are science and molecular driven, right? The science is what drives you. But we underestimate the power of plants and healing in the molecular science. Like plants are magic. And I think we always think about like, oh, granola or earthy or botanical. No, plants are chemistry. I think plants are alien. I mean, sometimes when I'm sitting and reading about things, you see how magical plant healing, they really have all this science. So I recognize that you had come up with this European larch. I always am looking for what are the actives? What are they using? And you, again, your team has found another amazing active ingredient that extends what we call the antigen phase or the growing phase. So anytime we're talking about hair fall, there's a shift somewhere in the cycle of hair. It can be like you touched on, Barbara. It could be genetics. It could be hormonal. It could be diet. There's so many underlying root causes. So our job is just to allow the products and these actives to know no matter what the trigger is, we know we can create and extend the growing phase. And again, your launch has proven something. I'm always looking at how it impacts not just the scalp. It takes time, right? It takes time to see how that hair fall, in all honesty, is going to be reactive. But how does it imp impact the hair fiber immediately? Is it greasy? Does it make the client feel weighty? Are they going to feel like they're not going to be committed to using it? And that was one of the most amazing things that I found was the ability to use it on clean and dry hair without feeling built up. And um, just, I feel like the efficacy of, again, I'm just probably 60 days in of watching this, but the immediacy for clients of being able to feel confident to use it without thinking, again, the performance of the hair. And I think that's so, we have to really think about that when we're asking a client to be committed to a serum, right? You want them to get the benefit, but they have to feel they can use it frequently. And that was something that I thought was very well formulated in your anti-fall collection. By the way, the anti-fall collection in Germany where they, you know, from the ingredients, we can even say it helps with genetically caused mm -hmm. hair fall. So it's quite, it's quite impressive what, you know, the ingredient science can do. So let's get in this on this anti-hair fall shampoo and conditioner. So again, I think that is, we have to, because it's a little more complicated and we have different concerns, like same with like skincare routine, we have to be able to pick our fitting, you know, collection. So, you know, we can also mix it up. So first we look at our concern and then the state of our scalp. Yeah. So our concern could be chemically treated, you know, breakage hair and our scalp could be itchy. So you would do, um, you know, the anti-aging shampoo or in the balancing serum, or you do the anti-aging serum and the balancing shampoo. So you can um, mix it up a little bit. Um, another thing which I find very, very amazing as an ingredient, you know, we love hyaluronic acid and we love um, the hydration it gives to us. So for hair, we chose a cationic um, hyaluronic acid, which is charged. So it sticks to the hair shaft and um, um, surrounds the hair shaft. So even if you shampoo your hair, it sticks to it. Even you wash the shampoo off the hyaluronic acid sticks to the hair and gives like this beautiful, amazing, beautiful, shiny, hydrated hair. And then um, we need to touch on like this other two products. We created a conditioner, which is the same for everybody. Yeah, uh, which is like great hydrating, but also nice to calm your hair. Then after um, 
conditioner and also the hair mask, which is um, repairing um, and is helping also with breakage of hair and whatever stress you have to your hair. The, the hair mask is a product everybody should have in, in a shower as well. So I am someone like, again, getting back to the cleansing, I keep the conditioner and the mask in the shower. So I'm a rinse. I use more water-based things just because of my hair scalp and texture and the, and, and the condition that I manage. But again, I go through, I'm 30 days and I'm almost done with, I think your mask, but you, what I've been using whenever I'm going through products and partnerships, it's important for me to really have an intimate connection for me, like, because I'd be like, I want to feel what's happening. And again, me understanding scalp and skin, when you go into a quality product, it is about the multiple continual use of a product. And I think people are so itching for like anything that gives me an instant gratification, which kind of you do with the product, but the result gets better long-term. And that's when I know that those lipids and those moisture, because they're creating building blocks. But for someone like me, I can tell when I have a great combination of lipids and moistures and proteins. And the repair mask is what I use as like weekly, but I use the conditioner every day that I wet my hair. So that's been my regimen since I've been working with you all. And it's been lovely, really lovely. Oh, yeah, I have such amazing feedback. We hear all the time, even with one time use, um, how amazing people love it and mm -hmm. think that it helps. And so um, I'm, I'm so excited about this um, hair collection, hair and scalp collection. Should we dive some, some people in? Should we start with the yes. questions? You guys submitted so many okay. questions. Thank mm -hmm. you for that. We obviously, of course, course answer every question you have whether in writing or in the session i also have the feeling there's a lot of um requests so um i think we need to do another scout school eventually as well <laughs> so, yeah we, we've had hundreds of questions um we're going to have some people dial in whilst we're waiting for the setup i think the first question is probably for you bridget from yvonne she's saying okay. i get redness on my scalp which just looks like plain red spots especially behind close to my neck I'd like to know what could, what it could possibly be and how I can combat that. Without seeing images or getting any deeper, the fact that she, you are, I'm sorry, what's her name again? I'm sorry. Yvonne. Yvonne. Yvonne, hi, how are you? Um, so I can tell you right now that some type of allergic, there's something going on, allergic reaction to something. If it's around your neck, that means there's something that is, again, as a trichologist, my first step is really being like an investigator. So I'm just asking questions and my brain is going. The fact that you're saying there's some redness, it sounds like a little bit of a dermatitis and inflammation and irritation. You're allergic to something. If it's around your neck and on your scalp. Now I have no images. I'm going in blind. I'm not a doctor, but I can identify certain scalp uh, conditions and, and scenarios. So I would say you want to get to some clean, maybe fragrances some allergy testing without having more context or information. Put together things like, is it after you shampoo? Is it certain sweaters that you wear? Do you put a certain product in your hair? Try to make connections with your habits when you see these things flaring up. And if it's in your scalp that's red, there is some type of inflammation and allergic reaction that's happening. And it, it sounds like it could be product driven because it's affecting your neck. And are these, are there anywhere else on your body? I would wanna go deeper. Um, think about kind of minimizing some of those again, getting into some clean going clean products. Yeah. yeah, go clean. Yeah, going clean for, for yeah. Yeah. And maybe try to stay away also from all these like sprays. If you use any, try to not use anything, leave your hair alone for a little bit as well. You know, maybe only wash every yes. third day. So what that is a good question actually. How often should we wash all the hair and condition in all of this? And that's so individual and unique. And it's so interesting. Like we've got to stop doing these one size fits all, right? This is where I think yeah. the beauty of scalp is. You make it work for you. Girl, what works for me is not going to work for you. So we've got to, we have to stop giving our friends beauty advice. Like, girl, you know you, you know the best you. You, we each need to know what works best for us. So certain hair types and texture I always say this is their generalities. If you have a fine, straight hair type and texture, and you feel that your hair gets limp and oily, you still want that microbiome to naturally cleanse itself, but you're looking at no more than three to five. I say five is extreme. Shampooing your hair with a detergent-based cleanser 
is extreme for five days a week, but you can rinse, 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 and rinse as much as you want. For someone that has a thicker texture, you're going to go into that between two to three times. And I'm saying cleansing with a detergent-based cleanser. I don't mean just rinsing. You can rinse and hydrate. Those are still ways to cleanse the scalp and cleanse the hair. So we can go deep. We have to have another scalp school, Barbara, to go deeper into like all these ciphers to get my head really clear on everything of how I think. Very good. So next question. Next question. And this is from Amanda. Is the scalp line safe for colored hair? And does the scalp line address an itchy scalp? That's what we already discussed. So it's actually amazing when you have stressed and colored hair to repair. So the Super Antec Aging Serum would be great for stressed scalp. Also the balancing shampoo. So you can mix up and have, you know, one product from the balancing collection, one from the anti-aging collection. So but, you know, clean really matters getting away from stressors, getting antioxidants into our hair and scalp to catch free radicals, helping to, you know, hydrate our hair to respect microbiome and balance our hair in the perfect, healthy way and keep our hair, therefore, in growing faces and, you know, because inflammation and stress can help to cut the growing phase of our hair. This can lead to hair fall, this can lead to all kinds of problems. So inflammation, same like in our skin, we need to, you know, keep out of our scalp and hair if possible. Okay, we should have someone ready to dial in. I think we've got Timur. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm saying Timur. that name wrong. Timur? Timur. Timur. Yeah, yeah. Hi. It, hi, 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 Barbara. Hi, Bridget. Uh, yeah, it's Timur. Yeah, my name is Timur. Uh, I'm based in Berlin. Um, I'm 37. Oh, actually, I'm 38. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Here's all. So my question is uh, regarding acne on the scalp, because um, um, very often I get those kind of uh, annoying acne. But since it's covered by hair, I always like, ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Nobody gonna see it. Nothing to worry. Yeah. So what can be done about that? Do you want to start with that? Bridget, so, what yes, are you I'm using, gonna, by the way? Yeah. Uh, what, sorry? What kind of shampoos are you using? Uh, so uh, I tried uh, different ones, uh, Olaplex. Yeah. At the moment, I'm using uh, Illes Formula. Uh, is it? Oh, yeah. That, oh, yeah, that is a really nice shampoo, actually. But you didn't try to dry out your scalp because of, you know, you didn't no, no, no. I, no, I never. I, ne I didn't even go to dermatologist because I always thought that okay. it's all covered by hair. So why should I wo worry? But but the itchiness, sometimes I'm like, oh, my God, my hair is going to yeah. explode. And uh, and I, I sometimes uh, by accident, I pump uh, the pasta out of those acne and it's like, yeah. it's not really nice. I, 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 but definitely I, the balancing collection is probably already um, since well, the balancing collection is definitely the collection to go for, you know, balancing shampoo, balancing okay. serum, because it really, we need to even out, you know, the, 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 the sebum production, the microbiome, the skin barrier, the hydration, the exfoliation, all of this. So balancing shampoo and balancing um, um, serum. And, and Bridget, what, what is your take on, on um, the situation with acne on our scalp? So I'm going to approach it specifically from a medical perspective, not the cosmeceutical. This is where the trichologist comes in in me. How do you know for sure that that's acne on the scalp? Have you been diagnosed with that or how had you come to that realization? Uh, well, I do have acne on my face every now and then. So I can feel it. I mean, the shape of it, uh, the feeling of it, like the itchiness. So uh, of course I can't see it since it's on my head. <laughs> I don't have eyes there, but uh, but I can, um, I mean, it's just an assumption of course, but uh, it looks like uh, acne, it feels like so, acne. Okay, so if you wanna rule out acne, let's deal with like just keeping some of the, the bacterial down, change your sheets. Let's, if you know for sure you manage your, your acne on your skin, you've got, do you color your hair? Is that, do you color? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the moment, it's uh, yeah. Uh, uh, it's and then, colored. what type of products are you using on your scalp and hair as well? Do you like use a styling product, a, a paste, a mold, a molding paste? No, I don't. I don't like using any of those styling uh, products because my hair is already coarse enough. And okay. um, when I use all those products, they make my hair like feel like it's a hay. So I don't really like that feeling. And it's stickiness. It's 
uh, I just I like to touch my hair and feel that it's alive, even though it's okay. dead. <laughs> So what my suggestion is, if you know that it's acne driven, you know that's a balance of bacteria, try to be mindful of where you might be exacerbating or getting some external bacteria buildup on the scalp. That is the same thing as your skin. And I would also suggest it is worth going to see a dermatologist just because there are so many scalp um, conditions that get misdiagnosed when we self-diagnose. And something as little as it could just, again, be a bacterial or a fungal imbalance. Again, the balance collection is going to allow that to not be irritated, but to really get to that root cause. It could be something that you eat. It could be something you're not putting a connection with, mm -hmm. and that will help kind of minimize that. So let's make those connect connections on lifestyle health. But to be completely honest, I always love for someone to go have it medically looked at and diagnosed by a reputable dermatologist or trichologist so that you can for sure ensure that you're treating the right condition you think you have. Uh, thank you. The only problem that I have with the dermatologist, uh, first thing they prescribe is uh, uh, antibiotic. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, I agree. Oh, and I know that's why I said I reputable. It's so yeah, hard. I know. I know. It's, but that's why that I said reputable. And, and you want to find someone, this is a big, and it is challenging. I think we're changing the marketplace. You want someone that deals with scalp and hair abnormalities. There's more to life. That's than what, to my own. advice, my proposal, not advice, it's you. Uh, my proposal would be you go on the balancing okay. shampoo on the balancing um, serum. You use that because that also keeps serum production under control. So that will help to, you know, hydrate your skin your scalp but at the same time also try to you know bring down serum um, production so if it's acne and you know whatever condition it, it, it is even if we're not sure it's 100% acne it's nice to balancing your uh, scalp so and if that works give it a try for like two weeks or something you know and then um, if you feel it's not getting better then I would also have a check but I think it should really help the balancing shampoo. Don't you agree, Bridget? Let's yeah, I think first, if, if it I is acne, if it is acne, acneinic, axionic uh, infl inflammation, that, and then like just be mindful of the bacterial around you, pillowcases, sheets, things yes. we don't say. Oh, yes. yes. Think about yes. the Stay away from chemicals for, stay away yeah, from chemicals. Yeah, stay away from chemicals. Don't I know, that, that's why I even bought satin uh, bed sheets because they're better than the cotton ones. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, did my yeah. research. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did indeed. Yeah, just don't use any hair products for the moment, okay. except you know, the, uh, you know, the serum. Uh, last question, Barbara, how often can I use the balancing uh, shampoo? <laughs> You can use it every day. Every day. Okay, perfect. Every perfect. Day. I like washing so, my hair. Uh, hair. Yes. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Nice to meet you, too. Likewise, likewise. Okay, next we have Carmen. Carmen, do you want to just unmute yourself and turn on your video? Hi, Carmen. Hi, my name is Carmen, and very pleased to meet you both. I'm from Lisbon. Where are you from? Lisbon, where, where, Portugal. Where? Ah, Lisbon. Ah, oh, so nice. <laughs> yes. And my question is because I have a diagnosis of uh, seborrheic dermatite, uh, I would love to know the, the best products of your line to this kind of condition. So I would propose exactly the same line, you know, exactly the balancing shampoo and the balancing um, serum. Um, with this form of term, dermatitis, we don't really know exactly what where it comes from, but it's the same. Balance your scalp, balance your microbiome, balance your hydration. Um, this is, you know, helping with itchiness, dryness, redness. So that would be, for me, in your case, the best option to go for, for that. You can also use the conditioner we have to then, you know, after you had your shampooing, um, you condition your hair before because you have long hair and you want it to be like, you know, nice and soft and comical. So I would just and the, and the repair mask. Do you as well? Yes, you as can well. use that as well. Yes. Thank you very Bridget, much. Any other suggestion? The only thing I would say is consider yours. Like I like your original, the Doctor Serum um, Scalp Serum as um, Scalp Serum as like a pre-shampoo treatment. So I think when you're dealing with like psoriasis and, and those types of medical conditions, uh, putting on a pre-shampoo scalp serum is so important. I think it makes a change, like it's a game changer. 
So Dr. Sturm's scalp serum to like put that in at night, it helps with the cellular turnover. What we want to do with those psoriasis is just like reduce inflammation, reduce that cellular turnover so rapidly. So think about doing pre-shampoo scalp treatments. And I think that scalp serum is like an overnight and then get up in the morning and shampoo with the balance and then uh-huh. leave the balance in will give you a much better, like really beautiful scalp regimen just to help with that inflammation and some of that redness and irritation that you're going to get from that. So you so recommend the, the serum at night? Yes. Okay. Not, not, well, the, so the, her original serum, the Dr. Sturm scalp serum uh-huh. is the original serum, not the balance serum. It's the original okay. one. I like that as a pre-shampoo treatment to be massaged into the scalp at night, almost like kind of giving it like a pre-step. Then you, the next day you would wake shampoo and then you would seal and close off with the current balancing serum. Okay, I understand. Thank you very much. Love you. You're welcome. So nice Bye. to meet you. Bye. 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 So next one, I lost Shimon because Shimon is trying to get a scalp serum to show. Who's uh. next? <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? For- Hi. Who? Annie. Uh, Annie. 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 I love that scalp serum. That's the scalp serum, guys. Yeah, that's the scalp serum. Annie. Hi, Annie. Hi. Um, I'm Annie nice Smalley. I'm from Houston. Hey, nice to meet you. Um, I had a question about my scalp. Um, I have rosacea. I tend to have uh, flare-ups. I have dermatitis. And I've never had an issue with my scalp. I always have, um, I have really thick hair. And recently I've developed red scaly patches around my scalp um, and then hair fallout. I've noticed the hair falling out. Now, I was recently diagnosed with severe iron deficiency. So I don't know, I know sometimes that may have a role in skin issues, Um, but I was prescribed a steroid uh, foam and at first it worked, but then I noticed it started to sting and irritate. Yeah. So now they flare up and they hurt. And I, my question is, what would you recommend? Um, I, I guess maybe the balance, maybe it would be the balancing line to help soothe these spots. But also they have for Bridget, what do you think um, about that issue? It's um, more so severe. Yeah, it's a little more severe. So we're getting into a medical condition. So a combination of things. The first thing that sticks out to me as a trichologist, again, I'm always going to go with that internal, is your iron. If there you're experiencing hair fall, lower iron, and we call your ferritin stores, the hair has no chance. So we've got to get that internal balance. First and foremost, if you've known that you're some iron, some iron deficiencies, those are the number one. The hair is a non-essential tissue. It cannot sustain itself and the body is going to always win. We want the body to win, right? So when our hair is giving us these negative reactions, that's letting you know it's, it's redirecting some sources. In terms of the topical irritation, the balance is going to be there as a temporary soothe or help with that. Again, we're talking about that skin level and just right below where those actives are going to be impactful. The combination of you speaking about the scalp inflammation along the hair fall requires me to dig deeper. And honestly, I don't like giving just suggestions. I mean, I take this a little seriously. So it's a combination of things that I would want to dig deeper and ask you some other questions like my brain is going. But in terms of just being able to deal with that skin level of scalp, which is that letter S, definitely that balancing is gonna be the way to go. And just from what you've shared with me, and thank you so much for exposing that, is your iron and your iron deficiency. I'd be curious as to your ferritin stores. So I would have you do a panel workup, look at your iron, Look at your ferritin. And the other thing to remember is that for hair fall, it is not what your doctors say as your general, your normal. When we look at hair fall, we look at iron and ferritin through a totally different lens. So I encourage you to keep finding people who deal with scalp and hair and and not to, I don't want to villainize my amazing practitioners and doctors and dermatologists out there, but it is, scalp is a new frontier and we want to put you, it's it's a relationship between the dermatologists, our skincare professionals, and we're going to help you all solve this, but it's a collective practice. We need people who really are looking at things from a holistic point of view. And I think that's what excites me to be partnering with something like a sturm who understand plant science and just the scalpel, it wants to heal itself. The body wants to heal. And by making clean ingredients, we give the opportunity for the body to do its work. And then we have to dive deeper into those other possible root causes. I don't know, Barbara, you can kind of jump in on I, that. Too. 
Yeah. I think it's a combination also of the scalp serum for overnight, the balancing serum, and maybe the anti hair fall shampoo. I would do this combination. I also would um, do the blood panels, as you said. Said I would not go in with you know crazy cortisone, and you know I would just try to balance instead of damage more and suppress inflammation. But you know, is there an, a possibility that she could have a consultation with you, Bridget? I get asked a lot, by the way, if oh, people yes. want to have consultations with you. Um, yes. <laughs> so yes, I forgot that part. Right, I do this for a living, duh. So I have I'm yeah. a founder of the, of the root cause scalp analysis. Um, and what it allows me to do is, as you see, it's about an invested. I'm like a, I'm an inspector, and I also have loads of people around me, like Barbara and other uh, practitioners and dermatologists who are just so passionate about really keeping the aspects of scalp, which are all those five layers into its optimum point. And, and you can reach me on that root cause scalp analysis. I do in-depth analysis with virtual consultations. It's a digital platform to at least allow me to offer guidance and to kind of redirect you into there are things that can be so simple by just clean products and proper approach to a great skincare and hair care regimen that will change some of these conditions for people forever. And I really mean that. However, there are people that do suffer for true medical autoimmune hormonal issues. And we've had have to be able to bring those together. And that's what I hope to bring to the world into my platform. So yes, I'm the founder of the root cause scalp analysis. You can find me there. And if I can be of help, I'd love to at least guide people in those right directions. Yeah, we will share your information via email with everyone. So make sure we have all your emails and um, we will share Bridget's contact so you can dive, dive deeper with deeper with Bridget. Thanks, Barbara. Good. Thank you, Next Annie. Time. Thank you. I hope you were help. I hope I will helped you a little bit. <laughs> oh yes, definitely. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Next, we have Erja. If you'd like to just unmute yourself, put your camera on. Hi. 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 How are you? Good. Thank you. Uh, I'm Erja. I'm uh, from Pechen, Albania. I would like to ask you about uh, dandruff uh, because I suffer from it and I've been struggling struggling for, uh, with it for four years now. And uh, I've started to use medications uh, like shampoos for an anti-dandruff and it's really working on me, but I'm scared that now I have, uh, I've stopped using it and I hope it doesn't repeat. And I don't know how sure I can be and what should I do to prevent it? My take on you should definitely have the balancing shampoo and the balancing hair serum in the conditioner. And Bridget probably has some more intake on, on you know, reasons and what happens when you stop using the shampoos, Bridget, what do you think? So the first thing is to get people to understand that um, dandruff is a buildup of overproduction of bacteria. It's not what pe everyone thinks it's, oh my gosh, it's flaky, it's flaky, it's, it's flaky, it's flaky. No, it's a bacterial imbalance. So what you're seeing is that your skin cells are, are overturning so rapidly that they just shed and shed and shed. The yeah. goal is to slow that down. And again, a product like balancing is going to help normalize that. But again, when it's at exacerbated or when it's so intense, it can be very frustrating. Again, um, Barbara, again, if you could hold up your serum, I love the idea of people balancing these kind of conditions, dealing with just, you know, pre-scalp, just pre-shampoo treatments are the game for anyone, whether you're oily, dry. Anytime your scalp is reaching out, just being able to address some of those issues by treating it before you cleanse it in shampoo. Um, the other thing is it's medical. So you want to think about your diet. There's a huge connection between scalp and dandruff and yeast. So watch how much yeast you have in your diet. Anything that's inflammation, we can't, even though we don't want to hear these lifestyle connections, they're just the truth. And the body is going to respond if we respond differently with our body. So watch your diet. Watch if those things are really exacerbating. If you eat more bread or more pasta. Um, the other thing is to think about, and again, from a trichologist's point of view, I'm always going to go about what's happening internally in your diet. Any deficiencies. I don't know if you have vitamin D deficiencies or any yes. other. Like, you... yes. Okay. 
<laughs> so when I start going down these litany of questions, this is when I start putting together and that's what the root, that's what my platform does. I, I could go through everything with you, but that's kind of what I do um, to help you draw some connections of where those deficiencies, again, we have some amazing strong studies, but they're still new that are creating some of that anecdotal things that we know how to combat some of these um, scalp conditions that we suffer from. But watch your diet, watch your deficiencies, make those connections, pre-shampoo treatments, like with the Dr. Sturm scalp um, serum, sleeping in it overnight on the scalp, and then going through in the morning as your follow-up with the balanced shampoo, and then giving the cert, again, that serum just to normalize. It's a comprehensive approach, and then we want to bring all these things together that will help normalize some of those um, issues or the things that create your cellular turnover to want to be so rapidly shedding versus slowing down. So in your brain, I want you to think about things that slow down the cellular turnover, not speed up, if that makes sense. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you very You're much. So, so nice to meet you. You're very nice beautiful. To meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Love you. So we're running a little bit out of time. There's one question that a lot of people have been asking. Um, maybe Bridget can start with this one. What do you recommend to speed up hair regrowth after an episode of major shedding? So the anti-fall, like I was saying with um, that we talked about, it's about kind of tricking the body and keeping the hair follicle in that growing active phase. So you want things that are going to elongate what we call the antigen phase. And that is what your hair fall, um, anti-hair fall serum is going to do. Barbara, I don't know how you formulate it, but what I have found is people that use, I like to see people using serums anywhere from two to three times a week on the scalp when they're going through a, a very shocking moment. I've just found that that does help. Again, I'm gonna keep going into pre-shampoo treatments. And I think the doctor serum, um, you know, that scalp serum, I use it when, you, when you're going to yoga, when you work out, anytime you're gonna shampoo your hair or cleanse the hair, I believe in giving it a treatment before you go to shampoo. This serum is amazing to be able to just Encourage what well, we want ATP, which is that energy turnover. We want the, again, the pathanol. She has purslane, all these free radicals. Those are things that are going to go into your scalp and your hair fiber. Then you're able to support it with the perfect cleansing agent because you have a clean, no nasty cleansing. And then you want to just nurture, nurture, nurture. And those serums are going to be, you're going to decide on the cleanser or your shampoo based on your hair type and texture. But your serum of choice, you can go between using the anti-fall one day and maybe the balance. Just for you know, you can create these customized layers of products to get you through these phases when you have those active shedding phases. It is not going to happen overnight, but when you are really healing the body with these kind of highly molecular cellular anti-inflammatory actives, the body is going to respond. I, I don't know any other way to tell you, but that's just the way it works. And then you will see that your follicle is gonna respond. So your regimen is gonna be important. The commitment is gonna be important. I think for someone with serious anti-hair fall, it's gonna be all about that balance of keeping that microbiome stationary and then and giving- Inflammation, inflammation. Yeah. Inflammation is the trigger to stop the growing phase of the hair. So inflammation, our daily life, stress, no sleep, our diet, products we use on our skin and hair that can cause so much inflammation, pollution, um, sun exposure, this can all relate, you know, really relate to, you know, hair fall. So besides hormones and everything else, but, um, you know, getting inflammation under control. And we have like some Camilla extract and large in it to really soothe and, you know, help to get inflammation under control and, you know, keep this growing phase long, elongated. So our hair can grow again, really be healthy. And um, we're all happy with our with with our with our hair and with our situation i know it's so hard if something is in disbalance with our skin or scalp or hair we feel so insecure and have so much security issues then and you know that is so important for us to help you with these issues and help you to look in the mirror and feel happy and confident and you know ready for the day so 
that's all we want. Um, please try the shampoos, the hair serums. Let us know what you think. We are so obsessed with it. We are so happy with what turned out. Again, big shout out to my product development team. You girls are really masters in how you formulated this collection. It's really unique. It's really, I haven't seen anything like this. Even I'm now obsessed with shampoos, which I haven't seen <laughs> before. My short hair, I don't know how you feel. You're definitely more obsessed, but this is all I use and this is how it will be. Um, we won't change it anymore. Um, everything we need for our body is coming from Sturm. So that's the goal. And yeah, thank you, Bridget, so much for your time. I think um, maybe if you, um, if that would be okay, we should do another one. I think there's a lot of interest and it's so, it's so fascinating what we can do from a wellness perspective, product perspective and, um, yeah, you know, no, thank you. I'm excited. I'm so excited. And I'm yes. so glad that you were one of the ones leading the charge with, again, I just was obsessed with you from serum, like being a fan, my girl crush, just understanding serums. And I think what you are doing and how we are entering this space together, I think scalp is it's, it's, it's going to be a roller coaster because we're just discovering. And that's what makes it so exciting that we all get to put this science together. You have skin care specialists, you have hair care specialists. And together, our goal is just to help people really solve their problems in a very clean and letting the body do what it's going to do when we have that right, those right actives and science behind it. So I would love to come yes. back. I had so much fun talking with you and informing your audience. And thank you for sharing this with me. Thank you so much for sharing all your knowledge and information. Everybody out there, stay happy. Love your skin, love your scalp, love your hair. And um, we love you. Big kiss to everybody. Thank you. Uh, Thanks, thank Barbara. You. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Bridget. Thank you. Thank you.